Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a replay review for you guys, and before we get started, I just want to shout out my boy Millie for uh, letting me use his replay for this replay review. If you guys don't follow him already on Twitch, please do follow him. He's doing a Go XLR, I believe, giveaway at 1,200 sub or not sub, sorry, that's YouTube, uh, 1,000 followers. So if you guys want a chance to be in that giveaway for a uh, a Go XLR, I believe, uh. Please follow him on Twitch. I'll have his link in the description. But other than that, hope to see you guys in the replay. All right, welcome to the replay here now. And uh, yet again, I just want to thank uh, my boy Millie for letting me do this because uh, I think this will give everyone else here a uh, opportunity to, uh, I guess, learn. I'm sorry here, I have to. I was doing a thumbnail for the video, so I did change my settings back. But yeah. Uh, other than that, let's get right into the replay. It's a pretty good one. There's some things to go over. Right here we go for a little airplane in the beginning. It's a good idea. Uh, but one thing I will say in the beginning here is not crossing right for the, uh, the boost unless it's a call. I wasn't there, wasn't in this VC. But if you make a call to say you're going, like try to aim the ball to the right, then it's good. But on a regular basis of just everyone ever here, if you cheat, which is the best idea here, you can either hard cheat, which is going to uh, this boost right here, or you can soft cheat, which is like you're in between these boosts. So you can either react to the ball, or you can like just speed in here off the soft cheat, or you can react to either going right, left. It's a very versatile spot. Zen uses this spot on kickoffs. Because uh, everyone above, I believe, GC1 cheats every single kickoff. Not every single, but a lot of the times. So that I can get a uh, beneficial start to the uh, the kickoff. But yeah, that's that's one thing I will say. But if this is a called kickoff, then this is perfectly fine. Again, leading to possible goal attempt here. I will say we can work on the recoveries. I know he's not the, the most mechy guy, but we can work on the recoveries. If you hold your uh, power slide here, you can slide off the wall and do... So right here, you slide off the wall. Let me go into fly here. This is where you're holding your power slide. You jump and you tilt your car, not tilt, you flip your car so your bottom of the car is facing the ceiling and you jump again. That's going to be your fastest recovery here, 98% uh, of the time. And so, instead of doing this, uh, just tilt your car like this, your car is like this but on the wall, and you just jump down, exactly like a reset, instead of this. But good follow from the teammate there. Let's see what he does. As I thought, unless this is yet again a called kickoff. The best choice of action is to either grab this pad and slowly cheat up here or hard cheat and like go for this pad. Because the main idea of the more cheating kickoff here is so you can have a better start at the, uh, the kickoff. Whether you maintain possession or you lose possession. Whatever it is, the whole point of the uh, kickoff is to maintain possession pretty much. Whether you win it or lose it or tie it, I guess. But right here, see, this would have been a bad example to cheat. And this is really on Yode over there. Or Yodi. Uh, my bad. <laughs> over there. This is a terrible kickoff because you never want the ball in the air on your side on kickoff. You know why? Because this player over here that cheated by the way can grab this pad and pretty much shoot this anywhere on net that the defender isn't now he didn't grab this pad so he's not gonna get the best chance in my opinion but this boost here let's see he grabs this he flips here or he grabs this boost he flips here and bang he's up for that if he's the better player, he scores this with less spins. He scores this and places this 
either top corner or he switches it up and goes left side. That's just if he's the better player and realizes the uh, chance and opportunity. But a unfortunate catch there. Good job not using all the boost in the corner there, I will say. That is good boost management. But this pass here. The option is covered either way. And I don't know if uh, Tony here uh, knows about it, but he's pretty much, after he lands his flip, he's going to be in the way of the pass. So no matter what, this pass is blocked, right? Because if you get it even past the first guy, Tony's there, he grabs a 12 pad, or he just backflips, and he can challenge the ball, and you guys are now both committed. But it's a good job following it up on the play. Unfortunately, teammate gets beat there. And you turn, good here. But the whole idea of this play is for you not to waste your boost. Like, you want to sell it, you can sell it. But the whole idea is to, as you do here pretty well, is just back off pretty much. And if I were to... Uh, that wrong button. <laughs> if I were to say in a perfect world here, you grab the boost, and you just turn and go here. Or not go, but like turn, close cheat. So let me, let me rephrase this. Is you go in here, you drive up the ball, you drive back down right away, you follow this path out. And you're in a better spot because if we look at it from a uh, this guy's perspective. Here's 47. He clears it to the side. Right. And if we look at this perspective right here. He's going to be the first one to the ball anyways. So if you come out this way, you drive into the corner. You don't even have to be on the wall. You can go up the wall. You can just or grab the pad and just like drive on the crease here. And go back, grab this pad, grab this pad, this pad, this pad, boom. And now you can be second man, so you can actually go grab this pad, this pad, and play back post. That's what you can do. And even playing this middle option is good. Good boost grab as well. Good hitting the ball out there. Now if I were in this situation, I would grab this pad and turn. Like... Not exactly this way, but I would turn and like kind of stay in this like dark section here. I'd stay in this section because if the ball pops out mid, I'll be the one closer to it pretty much if it pops out more this way. If it pops up more mid here or this way, this guy wins because he has a little bit more of a run up and is closer to the ball. So it's not worth me going. But even playing right here and going back, that works too. And that can be on any map. Good control touch here, keeping it close. Good cut on the other side. Unfortunate, didn't make it there. And now here, you're kind of expending yourself. Like you've made your play. What you can do here again is grab this pad, drive at him, and drive away. You don't even have to flip into it. But I'm not gonna lie, I've already seen the replay. So <laughs> I know what happens. But this is exactly what I mean. You drive at him, and you turn your car away. Because look what this guy does. He flicks the ball away to your teammate. And if you drive away, you grab this pad that's closest to you. You play around. And first of all, this bump would never have happened. And this rush back wouldn't have happened. Tony should have scored that, I'm not going to lie. But good challenge there. Tony barely taps the ball. But boom. You get a goal. This all happened, and this is what I like to say, a cause and effect of this corner play right here. If we think all the way back, how did this happen? This corner play right here, they gave up possession, right? Didn't need to dive, good bump on the play, didn't need to happen. Again, as I said in the, <laughs> the previous take, if you're to here, stays grounded and doesn't do 
whatever this is. And gets the bump. Stays grounded here, doesn't panic. Like this, you, you touch it here, you stay grounded, you double jump. And look at this, air dribble opportunity. Or a double tap opportunity. Or, I don't know, a fake opportunity. Any, there's a lot of opportunities, it's just whatever is in your repertoire. Or, uh, I believe that's the word. <laughs> whatever you can do mechanically, uh, it definitely helps. And it's also easier to speed back up instead of slow down. I just want to keep that in your guys' minds. In each situation, where could they have slowed down, quote unquote, not panicked, and it would have benefited them? I'll give that to you guys for some homework. <laughs> right there. <laughs> but does lead to a goal, so it kind of works, but it's, it's better if the hypothetical situation of slowing down just slightly just tapping l2 or whatever it is on xbox and just slamming the ball instead of panic touching it here because at the end of the day the guy closest here has little to no boost his only boost is that 12 head if he even got it so now he has to now he has to cross the field and it's just not gonna benefit him at all that's here this is fine it is a lot easier to kind of cheat on this kickoff because you just follow and you don't use any boost. Like there, that could have been a 50 to the corner and you guys could have been on the attack. But good play into open space. Not bad. The only thing I will say here is, is the boost path. Let's see. Play here. Grab this pad. You can even go down the center and follow this and turn here. You have the time. See, look at this. It's the same amount of time, pretty much. Grab this pad. You're still in line with it. The only thing that's different from this take to that take is you would go like this and you can turn. You can either go for this corner here or you can turn here. And you would get the same result. Because you would just cross here. You would gain an extra pad as well. You can gain an extra 12. And all you have to do is go across like this. Go across like this. It's really weird in the camera. But it makes more sense if you're on with your car. You go across like, like this. You get the outside part of the pad. And you go like this. You still cover this half of the goal. And with a dodge or a flip. You cover this half of the goal and you're already in his face so it's going to make the shot a lot harder for him anyways good recovery playing safe on the ball good musty and boom right the double tap and that's it that's all i got for this first round but if i were to make kind of things like judgment calls on what you can like definitively work on is not mechanic stuff because that comes with time and time and effort but it's reading the situations and reading the plays there and as well as boost management but everyone can work on boost management stuff like kind of like this corner play here if i can find it i don't know if it's this we'll take this one for example this is a good and a bad decision at the same time and what i mean by that is it could be better if the ball's just left alone here they can take their time or as you do here you can fake them kind of here you can challenge but also not challenge and i i think my approach here is a little bit better you do stay on the ball no matter what you can even if you want to stay on the ball you go here you grab this pad you speed flip to this pad and you're here they're still on the wall. They're still taking control of the ball. Like here. You come across here. You grab that pad. You flip to this pad. You grab this pad. You're still first, man. You can still stay in the play. But also gives your gives an option for your teammate to go into the play as well. Gives them an option. All you have to do is call them off if you're in comms. And knowing these two, they're probably in comms here. So what you can do is you say, going to fake 
fake challenge you grab this pad and you can say i'm going again or i'm still on the ball or back off or i'm rotating to the ball something like that one of anything really just or i got it one of the one of the seven and you can just keep on challenging and if this happens you can just bang this ball not the best idea by the way they can just hit this ball like right here so it bounces out and either if he was playing closer he's playing really passive here and you kind of angle it this way because you have an angle on the ball where you can kind of cut across here and hit it right here you can kind of pinch it back towards your net if you're good enough with your car control to go this direction because this guy has to like boost to this ball stuff like that like they're minute things if you think about them but also if you think about them they're the most important things it's something i'm trying to work on is not diving in the corners and it's something we can all work on unless you're a uh, first killer or a zen who don't need to uh, worry about that <laughs> but yeah if you guys did enjoy this uh replay review please do let me know down in the comment section if you guys want this to be a series let me know as well because in the discord uh which is in the link in the description i have a replay review section so if you guys ever want me to look at your replay reviews uh or replays uh go ahead and we can make this a weekly series monthly series whatever it is if you guys want but other than that hope you guys enjoy i do hope you guys learned something and uh i wish you guys luck in this rank grind because uh <laughs> it's it's tough out here but other than that i hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.